Hey, so this time let's talk about animations and how we can build a page load animation. So whenever you visit a website, you will see this kind of loader, which will disappear after a few seconds. Let's start by adding a block element to body. Set its position fixed. Placement, top start, right start, bottom start and left start. This way our element is full width and height of the page. Stack order will be 100. This way it's at the very top of all the other elements. And let's set a background white. I will hide it for now and rename it loader. Let's copy our logo and paste it inside the loader. Let's actually set position flex to make everything center and adjust the color of the logo size as well. We can now add one more block, which will be for our progress bar. We'll name it bar. And on the loader block, let's set flex direction vertical. So all elements are stacked vertically. We'll add a gap of 20 pixels. For the bar element, I will make it gray. We'll set the size of 200 pixel width and height 2 pixels. We'll also set a position relative so we can place elements inside it. Let's now place one more block inside the bar element. We'll name it progress. We'll set its size full width and full height, which takes the full height of and width of the bar element. We'll make a background of black. Let's now move this element to the very left from the beginning and set its position absolute. Right, 100%. So we'll be animating this progress element. It will be moving horizontally when page is loaded. But we also need to set the overflow hidden for the bar element that we don't see this progress at first. So on the bar element, overflow hidden. That is good. So now on the animations, for the progress bar, I will add page load, property, move. So we'll be moving the progress element from here zero pixels horizontally to 100%. This takes it to the full width of the bar element. Let's actually preview now. That is good. We can also adjust easing and delay. So for duration, I'll set two seconds and easing ease in out. Let's preview how it looks. So the last thing we want to do is when our progress bar finishes moving, we want to hide this whole loader element. So on the loader element, we will also add page load animation. Property move. We'll move it from zero pixels vertically to negative 100%. The delay will be two seconds. This is the time the progress bar finishes moving. Easing the same, ease in, out. Let's save and preview. Okay, this looks good. So one more thing we need to do is to hide this loader on canvas so it doesn't interrupt us while we're working. And to do that, we can transform it under transforms, 
we will move it negative 100% vertically so it's at the very very top and animation is still working perfectly so that's about it thank you for watching and see you next time